Well, I think chat want me to berate and abuse you for being a woman. Why are you such a despicable, shameless clout shark on Destiny's stream? This is what's so interesting that you guys think that I care about viewer counts because I have almost 700,000 followers on TikTok. I don't have to do any of this. I don't have to have a job. My fiance is rich. You're trying to get me to admit that I'm attractive and that gives me a leg up. Okay, what clout? What clout it? do you think I'm looking for? I had a platform bigger than yours, bigger than Steven's on another platform. But oh, I'm shut up, Supreme, you f***ing simp. This is bullshit. I'm talking about women's liberation. Maybe for her that was true, you money. stupid money. Maybe she for her that was saying, true I and you went off on her. Sometimes being pro involves, you know, tearing down. You're a f***ing loser and it's embarrassing. Have you ever watched my streams? Um, no, I'd rather no. gouge my own eyeballs out. No one here has. Well. Okay. Wow, hello. Welcome. It's, it's great to see you. I hope you're doing well. Hello. It's great to see you. Hope you're doing well. It's been oh. a hot minute since we've spoken. Damn. Well, I think chat want me to berate and abuse you for being a woman. So should we get yeah. started? Yeah, if you want to. Go ahead. I'm actually not going to do that, okay? I'm going to take a more reserved approach. Um, <laughs> okay. And I'm just going to I'm just gonna ask, why are you such a despicable, shameless clout shark on Destiny's stream? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think that anyone, I think that anyone would be opportunistic when given the opportunity that I've been giving. Um, Steve is my friend, obviously. I've, listen, I started off really feeling like me coming on was a burden. Um, yes. it's not. He gets his views maximized by like 20%. He likes to have me on. It makes for interesting conversations. Um, I used to ask all the time before coming on where I'd just be like, hey, can I pop on? Like, oh, I have something to say about this. Can I pop on? Um, maybe like five or six times before he was like, yes, any time, come on any time. So then I've just been coming on any time. Um, yeah, his viewer count goes up. He gets content. I get to grow my platform and I get to hang out with like. Uh, okay. Okay. But last night, last night when, when you went on, when you left that panel to go on, his view count had already gone up when you got there. Right. So, so that's not entirely, entirely accurate is it no when i no when i got there it was 800 and then it went up to almost 12 it went it was 8000 then it went up to almost 12000 oh. so it, it, by about 20 percent. yeah steven has talked about this himself like he he talks about how he instantly gets more viewers when i go on i don't know why you're trying to dispute this like very real fact i don't i don't doubt this there's, there's it's like a very mutually so beneficial relationship for sure for sure but i think that last every night every time went i on, go I on it was already every about, time i go on already about every nine time. or ten thousand when you went on when you left that panel you know when you when no you it was almost at nine it was almost at nine and it wasn't i wasn't on. sure i know it wasn't about commitments i went on a panel a datum's panel and datum is known for like just it's like a drama panel it was a bunch of like a bunch of people who are like short of sort of um like friends but like toxic friends going on and we were talking about what to do when someone cuts you in line mm -hmm. it wasn't you, like an and did you agree it wasn't an it? important yeah. panel did you did you agree to, did you make a pre-existing commitment to go on that panel um yeah, he asked if I would come on, and I said yes. So, okay. so when you said you weren't shirking commitments, that was, that was a lie, right? Uh, it, it wasn't sure. Yeah, I lied. Um, Datum's not mad. Datum gets it. Datum, the person who posted it. He seemed Datum very shocked, I would it. say, that you left. You didn't even message him about it. Yes, I did. Not Well, you didn't message him when you left, did you? Because he didn't notice you'd gone and then said... Uh, you know, oh, I'm sure she's Lav coming back. Is a prearranged guest on this panel. As you've just seen, Lav is protected from voting, so she is going to stay on for the next round. So get ready. I'm at deep reset. It's GG. Camera goes off. Lav Loon's camera goes off. You can see here, her camera's off. Okay, she's not said a word. She's not said anything. She's supposed to be staying on to the next round. To use hypotheticals. Bro, argument. there's no hypothetical. She leaves. Like you're making it about she leaves. She leaves without saying anything. She's just gone. She's been protected from the voting in this panel from being voted off, right? But she just fucks off and doesn't say anything.
<laughs> What's Wait, going what? on? What a fucking what, what, what a man. They notice. She is replacing. It did lab disconnect. I have no idea lab disconnect. Listen, I I can't help if people are intimidated by me. No, no one making about yourself. She's coming back. She's coming back. And then he says she's coming back. She's coming back. So not only has she left without saying a word. She's not even messaged the guy that's hosting it to say, well, I tell you what we'll do. Why don't we, I I've got an idea, just randomly, <laughs> just randomly guys. Let's look at Destiny's stream. Should we have a little look at Destiny's stream and seeing what's going on over there? Obviously this stream at this point was probably at like touching 10,000 viewers because you've got the big names on, Sneeko's jumped on. I wonder, let's see what happens. So I would encourage them all to vote if we already allow a group of people. Are you Canadian? Why, why, why are you guys trying to get more people to vote when, like, didn't last year, that was, like, the most people that... There she vote. is. And, there yeah. she is. Yeah, but it's still, what, like, 65, 70%? There she is. Fucking degenerate, clout shark behavior. She's got a prearranged agreement to go on a panel. She's got protected from voting so she can go on to the next round. Okay. Right? <laughs> and without saying a word, not even mentioning it to the panel host... She leaves the panel. She just walks away from the panel. Okay. And then comes on the Destiny stream. Presumably because he's got tons of viewers and she can get some more clout. Yeah, and then I messaged him. Performing. So after the oh, fact. After. Okay, got it. Got yeah, okay. after the fact. But also, he didn't extend a bunch of courtesy to me on that panel. And I, I don't want to talk about why, but there are other... There are other accentuating circumstances, which I guess don't make it like that much better. It was still opportunistic, but I don't think that being opportunistic well, is like that bad. Because you could have left without going Just on so we know, stream, it, right? It, it's good to know what sort of courtesies you expect in such panels. So what would you want from us? But here, okay. okay. Here, let, one quick question. Yeah. So I've got another problem with your analysis as well. You're saying this is mutually beneficial and I'm sure there's some benefit that you have, but I feel that like you're attributing I mean, basically, let's be honest, you're basically on every Destiny stream at this point. You're attributing <laughs> all of this fucking growth and all of this viewership to yourself. There's lots of other people going on. Gideon, Abba, Low Tier God. These are all popular people as well and could also account yeah. for this increase, you know, in viewership. So, yeah. you know, do you think it's solely you or do you think that perhaps there's other circumstances that are affecting this? It's other circumstances that are affecting that as well. Okay. Um, but also, I think even in like in last night's case, the only reason Anna came on is because I facilitated it. I got her to come back on and have the conversation. So I was like creating content for Destiny. It was like a very mutually beneficial relationship. Mm -hmm. And I also, because I brought her on or because I convinced her to come on, I felt like I had to also moderate. So maybe I talked a little more than I would have otherwise. Um, but the only reason I've been on so much in the past week, because I also took like, I mean, it's only like this past like maybe uh, like nine days where I've really been on that much. And most of it was because I was a topic. And then also because I felt like I had a like a, a like a feminist viewpoint in what Anna was talking about. And when there's like four on one dog pile on Anna, I felt like I, I could support her in the way that I knew how, which was like the feminist outlook. I couldn't I couldn't shit speak on, on black, black people. experience. Shit on black guys, no. right? Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, that's what I did. That's what I heard you did. Listen, I've not got that's the full picture. That's not what I fucking did. That's okay. not what I did by any fucking means. Have you ever um, dated a black guy? Not seriously, no. Okay, what does that mean? But I've only dated two people seriously. Mm. So. Okay. Interesting. Would um, I seriously okay. date a black guy? Yes. <laughs> Okay. So, um, at the end of the day, like if Destiny doesn't mind having you on all the time, that's his call. It's his show. But I would ask you, um, does it does it affect you at at all that like you might get some criticism for demonstrating maybe a lack of self awareness or something like that? That you joining conversations What's the lack that you of self awareness. <laughs> you joining conversations that you well joining every conversation regardless of whether or not you are relevant or might or might not have something to so, contribute. So this is what this is what I just said. So it's not like a it's not. I last I joined because I felt like I and I wait. First of all, don't don't I did have viewpoints that were like very apt and I backed up a lot of what Anna was saying and it like I said it was going to be like a four v one five v one dog pile panel. So if I'm one of the orbiters that Destiny already has invited to come onto his streams whenever, why would I not join when I felt like I had 
things to say. Like I did have things to say. If people don't want me to say them, that's not my deal. If people don't like me because they I'm messy or I'm annoying or smug or whatever. Or you're a woman, who gives obviously. A shit? That's one of the big reasons people or I'm a woman. You, a woman. Or, or yeah. I'm a woman. Lots of uh, misogyny. That's their, that's their problem, not mine. Um, but like I said, after that, after the conversation was like moderated, after I had given my uh, two cents and I had felt like I had helped facilitate the conversation that I helped facilitate, um, I left. Like there was nothing more for me. I was like, okay, I've said my piece by. And then Connor went on to say whatever. And then the conversation just sort of ended. But it wasn't like I was trying to like milk it for all it was worth. I was like, okay, there was a conversation to be had that I thought that I could help facilitate. And then I left. And I probably won't be on Destiny's stream for mm-hmm. so when until you, I'm when needed. You- I, sorry, mm-hmm. Or until I, 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 I don't agree with this framing that you just disappear when you know you you go on and you're on there for literally hours. You don't just go on and say your piece and leave, do you? You're on there for hours at a time, pretty much. Well, the conversation stream. the conversation lasts hours. It's not gonna. I'm not gonna stay on after the conversation is done. Okay, we were still in the thick of the conversation for hours and hours and hours. I That's not because believe, of me. I don't believe this characterization. So, like yesterday <laughs> when you left that panel to jump on Destiny's. Had you been keeping, had you been listening to the conversation to know what the topic was and then thought, huh, I actually have something to contribute here? Or did you just see that there were people on the panel and just join it? I was bored and I didn't like the panel that I was on for whatever reason. I didn't like the people. And so then I, uh, went on youtube to see what he was doing because people were like uh okay, fine. That's fine. someone that's fine. Ans- someone I, entered I my, uh, someone entered my chat you, probably, like, you probably saw the view account go up right that's probably what got you on no it, it's it's this is what's so interesting that you guys think that i care about viewer accounts because i have almost seven hundred thousand followers on tiktok i can post something right now and it can get more than that amount of viewers in a fucking second no this I is like bullshit building. you're trying to I bring like, a twitch no, stream you, yeah. you like pivoted to Twitch streaming because you didn't want to do sex work no, no, anymore, no, no, no. and that failed at first, so you went back to posting fucking nudes, but now your Twitch stream seems to be going okay. Who knows wait, what you're going to do when next? Did, wait, did I go back to selling nudes? When? You on fucking, uh, what do you call it, Patreon? Oh, I have nudes up on Patreon? I don't know. I've not looked. I don't want to see your body, okay? I'm not interested in that shit. No, this is a mischar- No, this is another mischaracterization. I'm not back to selling nudes. I'm not back to sex work. I'm doing something as a passion project that you can choose to pay me for. I've been very clear that it won't be the same thing as the OnlyFans. I don't have to do any of this. I don't have to have a job. My fiance is rich. I do this because I think it's fun. So I don't need to optimize my well, clout when I already have this platform. No, I do it I mean, because I think it's interesting and I have a passion for talking to people. That's I don't fine. do I, this for I, money. I, that's fine. I so I don't like that characterization. Sure, yeah. And I think I think it's unfair. I think it's obvious you've drawn a line at sex work you think is harmful and sex work you don't think is harmful and you're like sticking to the latter. Like, that, I feel like, is of all the things that people are criticizing you for, I think that's the least applicable. But, I mean, like, you did say that you missed the money and that you wanted to go back to it. Unless you just, you know. But you know. but not, but in a way that's like, I don't miss, like, it's, you, like, I think that you don't, maybe you don't understand or maybe I'm just not explaining it correctly, is like, I'm, there's listen, a difference between I'm, having like honestly, extra God, money and then Lev, needing the money so having to I'm not charge. here to attack you or anything I'm just scouting out things that I know people will see as contradictions and like sure I, and they're trying to, to find time. and they're trying to find anything on me this is well, not how not we that they're this is not how to. we explicate no, anyone else's not, actions it's not that they're trying well, to we it's that you are joining these okay but what about platforms. okay but what about what about Queeman that literally like you don't even know uh, what I'm saying yes I do okay tell me I'm talking about you're talking about how my how I can my actions can be seen as like opportunistic. I already understand this. No, I don't. I listen. I I was going to go down that road, but that's not what I was talking about just now. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Give her another chance. Okay. Welcome to. So what was I talking about just now? Unless you want me to just talk about I'll just talk about it. If you're going to give me the space to talk about it, not interrupt me, then I'm happy to just tell you. Sure. Okay, sure. I'm just saying that you are, it's not people, people are not villains for, for looking into things that you say and finding contradictions. Sometimes it hits people like a brick wall. You're joining these public platforms and offering yourself to the public, okay, in the hopes of trying to build a career where you say things, right? And people are supposed to take stock in what you say and think about them, and that's supposed to drive them to your channel. It's totally self-serving on your part. People aren't villains for hearing some of the things you say and then going, hey, wait a minute, that doesn't match what she said about this yesterday or two weeks ago or something like that. And you have to like reconcile that. And honestly, like it might be really helpful for you to get a notepad and like write some of these thoughts down so that like it's not a different explanation 
every time you come on or whatever. There are some overarching things that I think are like perfectly consistent. Like you saying, you know what, I've, I've just lowered the bar for, or I've raised the bar for or, uh, sex work that I think is acceptable or something like that. Like I said, I think that's the, the criticism that you get that is like the least applicable. But oh, I'm shut up, to... Supreme, you fucking simp. This is bullshit, okay? When you say you're not selling nudes, <laughs> what are you selling on there then? What is it? There's nothing. It's like literally, I've literally just for this time been like, thanks for bearing with me while I make my first video. Like, I just and what's put the, the first video going to be? It's going to be a, it's going to be basically like sexual journalism about like yoni steams. I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing a, a yoni steam is like a, it's basically like a, you steam your vagina. It's supposed to, it's supposed to have like witch doctor medicinal properties. And I'm going to be like talking about like what started that. I'm going to be doing it. And uh, I'm going to be talking about it afterwards. So is this process with the your vagina going to be in the video? I So it not in like a pornography sense. Um, oh, so your pussy's going to be on there, not in a porn way, in an educational way. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. This is total copium. No, this is fucking bullshit. You think guys are going to be looking at going, copium. oh, amazing educational content. It's not for men. They're going to be fucking jerking off, think, sweetheart. Wait, They're going to be fucking jerking off. What are you talking about? Why would they about? jerk off to my Yoni Steam video when there's fucking free porn out there? You're because the fucking some, weirdo if you're doing that, not Because me. some men are fucking weirdos because you have created... I'd okay, rather... And I'd You're, rather them okay. I'd rather them jerk off to me getting a yoni steam than an 18-year-old getting fucking facial abuse. Sorry. Like I don't give a fuck. It's not for men though. I make content okay. for women. My my yeah, art sure. and my lane nice is through the feminist lens. I have okay. a ton of female feminist viewers. Lens, yeah. I have a ton okay. of Yes, I have my community is completely I'm sure guys are going to go this is through a women. feminist lens. I can't watch this. I can't jerk off to this. Come on, give me a fucking break. And if they don't, it's not for them to jerk off to. I'm not making it for men to jerk off to. If they want to because of exploration and curiosity and because it turns you on, go ahead. That's not the problem I ever fucking had with sex work. The problem I had with sex work was placating yourself and your sexuality for men in an abusive lens. Don't mischaracterize me. I don't think that sex work is bad inherently. I think the culture surrounding it is bad. And I've repeatedly brought that up. Wow, that's you a wanted me. Position. You wanted me. You were popping you off a fucking me. Madame yeah, Genevieve a little ago. You wanted what the fuck was that me. about? Yes, because she... she was doing it. Oh my God, are you fucking retarded? Yes, because she was fucking doing it in the lens that I'm not fucking doing it. She was placating herself for men. She was calling it female empowerment. I'm talking about women's Maybe liberation. Maybe for her that was true, you fucking stupid bitch. Money. Maybe she for her saying, that was, was saying, true and you went off on her. She was saying, I can make money being a pick me. And I said, no, you fucking can't. This is about women's liberation. You wanted me to be a fucking figurehead to be anti-whore. And I was never going to be that because I'm pro-whore. I'm anti-fucking placating men's sexual desires. And you don't like that because you don't fucking get it. And that's not my problem. That's your problem. Well, I mean, sometimes being pro whore involves, you know, tearing whores yeah. down. That's yeah, a, exactly. I'm pro whore trying to tear another another sex worker down because I don't like what they're saying. You're so fucking yeah. hypocritical, you and you hide behind a veil of fucking copium that a video a of your pussy you isn't retarded. fucking pornographic. You're, You're fucking You're delusional. Retarded. Okay. You're, You're retarded. fucking delusional. It has nothing to do with her being a sex worker. It's the way that she fucking engages in sex work, retard. I fucking said this repeatedly. Do you not think what I'm doing is different than what an 18 year old is? Is doing when they do fucking lolly porn? Do you not think that my sexual journalism is Sorry, different than is an Madame Genevieve doing facial? lolly porn all of a sudden? I thought it was all about like no, I but she's know, talking to she has. He gives the girlfriend experience, which you also have brought up, is bad because of parasociality. She has the, the fucking girlfriend experience on fucking on OnlyFans. She participates in the referral program, which gets other people in the pipeline of sex work, which I also think is fucked up. And then she peddles it, saying that, oh, sex work is empowering, sex work is good. It took, I got my life back from it without talking about anything that takes away from your life, how dangerous sex work is, how awful it is for the women's liberation movement. And that's what I have a problem with. Not that she's fucking naked on the internet. Don't you dare fucking mischaracterize this me. This is very convenient yeah. that you've able to set it up. Very Madame convenient. Madame Genevieve's sex work is bad very that you can convenient. criticize and get clout a few months okay. ago. But now you can put videos of you doing stuff with your pussy on, on the internet. And that's okay what because clout? of the way that you what framed it. What clout do you think I'm looking for? I had a platform bigger than yours, bigger than Steven's on another fucking platform. What clout am I getting? I've lost money through this. I was making $300,000 a fucking year and I stopped. I you made fucking okay. 2000 Let me explain it to now. you. That is true, but you're trying to rebuild it. Let me explain the degeneracy of the no, Kuma mind. No, I'm not trying to rebuild it. I don't fucking this need it. I go on to rebuild it. You're trying to transition. 
You've created false scarcity around your body by saying you're not going to do it anymore. You're so, so that, fucking annoying. No, I absolutely never this fucking is true. did that. I said I would not you sell did. it, and I will never you sell did. fucking You did. You did a fucking video, again. said you were leaving the fucking sex work industry, you fucking retard. You have created scarcity out of your body. And what did I say in the video? The coomers that are following you are and thinking, oh, I'm not going to be able to look at Lav's pussy anymore. And then a few months later, guys, I'm doing this thing, but it's not porn anymore, but you can see my pussy. They're going to be fucking on it like white on rice. Do you uh, understand marketing like whatsoever? I don't think. Is, like, I don't that's think... what I'm talking about. You're marketing yourself in a certain way in order to build scarcity around your body so that you can sell it again. And because you created a false sense of scarcity, scarcity around my body. Be... I post my naked body for free on Twitter. There's no. There's nothing fucking scarce about okay. it. Okay. If you want to see my pussy for free because I like to eat people to watch it, you can go on my fucking Twitter. I post right. it for free. I post more explicitly sexual shit on Twitter than I do on my Patreon. My Patreon is journalistic pursuit. It's okay. sexual education. You don't need to fucking get it. You can jack off to my fucking Instagram if you want to. I post scantily clad pictures there. There's no fucking scarcity. What are you talking about? I mean, listen, I don't fucking know the ins and outs you don't of know. Of like, you don't know. Okay. You have this mischaracterization this, of me, and now that I'm clarifying, no, you're your jumping in. I'm trying to explain something. Falling apart. I don't fucking know if you got pussy bitch. Also, your I'm not looking for also, that shit. Also, okay? I'd like I'm to fucking interested. add. You think I'm a fucking clout chaser? I joined your fucking stream, and look how much it's fucking got up in viewership. I would like to fucking point that out. So, what are you getting from me coming on? And what I'm am getting, I getting? The thing is, I'm getting. Yeah, obviously, I'm getting viewership from this. So, if this and is you're getting content yourself as well. Exactly. So when you call me a fucking clout shark, it's a mischaracterization. You're villainizing me for something that everyone fucking does here. Queen Man made a fucking, uh, made a fucking video about me exploiting my mental health issues, my relationship, nice. in order to get on this stream with you every fucking day. <laughs> And you don't tell him this shit, and that was way more malignant than anything I'm doing. But Queeman's not trying to get on my stream every day. He's not trying to join my stream and fucking, you know, join my stream. Every time I've every time I've tuned on your stream, he's fucking on here and usually talking about me. Motherfucker, I'm barely on my stream. He's barely on my stream. You're wrong there, Lab. You've got that much. He's not on that much. Does that ruin my fucking point? That yes, you literally, man. he got yes, on to this and has tried to exploit me for clout also, like we all fucking do because that's this fucking industry. Come on, you're not fucking above it. You're not better than me. Okay, People's um... issue isn't just clout chasing. It's excessive clout chasing, dishonest clout chasing, or clout chasing that is detrimental to the person's enjoyment Coke. of the content. Coke. Those are the things people are taking issue with. Coke. Obviously, yeah, everyone you mean networks, like you exploiting my mental illness chases. and relationship? Yeah. Fuck you! You're Jesus. a piece of shit! Damn, you thanks. you have done worse than I have ever fucking done by a fucking long shot, dude. Okay. And I mean, you're you still on you this. About, and you're still on here. You, you literally, you, you literally about, laughed, you lied about with, your you lied about you laughed about, you with your friends. You lied about a weaponized your own FBI coach to find someone else. About you lied me being about suicidal. And your own about me being the FBI suicidal. You read the fucking thing. Frame someone else. No, go as ahead. Like Cope. No, yeah, go you, ahead. Cope. You lied about and weaponized your FBI report. To try and frame someone else as having attempted to swat you. I think that's worse than anything. No, I though. didn't. I never fucking yes, you did. Dude, well, you, and you're still you mischaracterizing it. I don't even want to fucking talk you, to you, you anymore, Queeman. You're right a right retard. Right you're right the Agent dumbest Clark, sorry, person I've ever said, met. You're a fucking loser. Let's go. You're a fucking loser. And it's embarrassing. And you're like, but, 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 but. You have the most excuses I've ever fucking heard, I mean, and that's what I me. I just said to you was entirely correct, and you haven't said anything to. to no, say. it wasn't fucking correct. I mean, it was, we can rewatch that video you. together. Yeah. Nothing yeah, you brought up so, ever proved so, that I was fucking lying. So do you literally... remember when? I don't so even do want to talk about this when you came on, when, when you came on the stream and you played that voicemail that said, uh, "Hello, yes, uh, Miss, I won't say your name. Uh, hello, I don't miss, want to talk to you anymore." We're calling about Does anyone else? Does that? anyone else have anything? I don't want to loop Discord? on this. Yeah, that's what I don't loop on this. Right? I'm sorry I brought it up. I'm sorry okay. I brought it up. Listen, listen. Let's just. Uh, let me ask a quick question, okay? Were you concerned with like growing your Twitch stream when you first started streaming? Like concerned with it? Like, did I want? Did I want to grow? Yeah, I just I feel there's an inconsistency where you're saying. Were you? Were you yes. concerned about growing your Twitch obviously. stream when you started? Yes, obviously. Yeah, that's of course. Okay. But you're saying you're saying two things at once, and both can't be true. Okay, you're. This saying, is your income. This is your income. Okay, right? why are you interrupting me? I'm just, listen. I'm very because calm because now, I know okay? where you're going here. Because I know where you're going here. This is your income. This is not my income. I do this as a passion project. I like okay. this. It's fun okay. for me. Okay. No, you don't know where I'm going. My income at all. is not. Okay. My income is not reliant. Can on I speak? Which, I have no... Am I allowed to speak at any point? I was just yeah, asking a very simple question, okay? Because yeah. it's just a little inconsistency that I'd like you to clear up, if possible, if you wouldn't mind. Okay? Yeah, I'll go so, ahead. 
On the yeah. one hand, you were saying you don't need the clout, okay, because you've got a big following elsewhere. But then on the other hand, you're trying to own up to the fact that you're engaging activity to grow clout and that's what everyone does. Which is it? Have you ever watched my streams? Um, no, I'd rather no. gouge my own eyeballs out. No one here has. Bro. Okay. This is no what I do on my has. streams. This is what I do on my streams. I'm I hang out. Gladwell. I do fucking nothing. I'm lonely all day. I okay. play Overwatch. I don't I don't I don't try to like do news. I'm not trying to gain this following because I have something to say. It's just fun. I make enough money on my own. My fiance pays my rent, does everything fucking for me, and I get to go on my little computer and do what I want. I want to build a community because I like to have like-minded people around me. But I make no fucking money from Twitch. I just joined the affiliate program. I still haven't made a fucking penny. I get average of like 80 views on stream and I'm okay with that. I think that's co totally fucking fine. So the Chud, way that you and so, no, listen. So the way that you engage with the internet, Chud Logic, is much different than me. So it makes sense based on what you and how you interact with the internet that you want to build your community because this is your income. It makes sense for you. But this is not my income. I do this for fun. So I have no I have no I have no I have no reason to want to clout shark up the fucking wazoo. It's okay, so this, is, this is what I'm hearing. So she's, you do it for money, for your bag, for your family, for your kids. She doesn't do it for money. She does it for the sick thrill of people like being obsessed with her and falling, having a cult. Real? Why are you on right now? Which is a thousand times why more are you, evil. No, why are you on right now? Money. Why are you on right now? Do you Todd asked me to come in. Well, I okay. looked a while ago. I mean, the, the invitation was open. Okay, no, but why are you on? You wouldn't if you didn't want to. That's not how people work. You want to do it because it's an interesting conversation. It's fun, right? Yeah, but me coming into this call isn't the same as building a community of like-minded people that agree with everything you say. Do That's whatever you such want. That's a hard claim to substantiate. Just tell her she's an attention whore. Why make this broad sure, claim sure, that you can't sure. defend? Yes, it's sure. so much easier to just okay. say, well, you like attention. And there's nothing wrong with that. For no, sake, no. Cares. Yes, there's nothing yeah, wrong with attention. this. Of course I like attention. Everyone fucking does. Yeah, you forever. got me. No, 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 no. Let's stop, be clear. Stop, stop. Not everyone is looking for attention, but... There's streamers. nothing wrong with wanting streamers attention. Are. You streamers guys, should you want as much attention as possible. You're doing exactly what Chud is doing that. as a woman. You hate Listen. it. Well, no, you're not doing what Chud is doing. Chud has a monetary incentive. You've well, stated outright that you're not interested in money. You're here and for attention. Like, just attention. No, it's Which not just attention. Holy well, that, that's shit. a big part. It's also the like minded listen. community, guys. Come on. You should probably just be honest about that. It's, it is a big part of it. You want to find your audience. Thing. I don't you want to build Okay, community. listen. Yeah. Okay, you guys also, I built my whole platform based on that I'm a friendless fucking loser. I'm a woman with autism and agoraphobia. Okay. I don't have friends. Nobody I go online. I go on fr I go online and I've always gone okay. online for the Lev. sense of community. If that's attention, then fine. You're yeah, in super, you're in super, super you're, but you're, you're making really you're making you're making my very like normal want from the internet something very <laughs> insidious, which is so fucking it's not. I literally said there's nothing wrong with it. You're not listening. Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. She stop, wasn't talking stop. to you. Lev, wait, stop, Supreme, Lev. Supreme, Lev. Supreme talk. Go, Supreme. Listen, Lev, you're being really defensive because these two fuckheads are being really aggressive and their arguments are really bad, which is why they've stopped. Okay? Listen, you're being. Wait, you're talking about me, Supreme, aggressive? you little fucking bitch. Yeah, and we'll get there. For fuck forever. you. No, how forever. about this? Fuck you. How's my argument bad? Go. Well, why did you stop it? Because other people wanted to talk. No, because you hit a fucking brick wall. Because you haven't Supreme, actually seen what's on her Patreon. Face, um. Wait, no, what are you but, talking about? Listen, I, she told me what was on a Patreon, and I made my points about it. No, you launched the attack before you even knew what was on it. Up. Okay, but that's irrelevant. And Forever is a person that I can find on the Discord defending President Sunday for making a billion Destiny tweets by saying, why, why is this bad? He's trying to be a streamer. He's doing something that's like a tried and true method for like growing your audience or whatever the fuck. So I don't understand why he's coming at your neck over this now, Lav, because that's totally inconsistent on his part as doing well. Doing it, and that's insidious. Well, whatever. The point is, if you want to be a streamer, whatever your incentives are, whether it's money or attention or whatever, like, I don't think anybody should blame you for wanting as much attention as possible. That's literally, like, the biggest measure of your success if you're trying to be an entertainer or a personality or something like that. Nothing about that is terribly insidious. Um, and, like, as far as Destiny's content and you jumping on all the time or whatever, like, as long as you're telling me that Destiny is giving you his blessing, like, I don't have any criticisms there other than... Oh, I, I have suggestions. Daddy Destiny said make. so, so I'll, I'll agree with It's him. his fucking <laughs> channel. It's just stream, my dude. Whatever he says, I'll do. What? <laughs> you serious? You, you guys are literally coming on Destiny fucking Chud Logic okay, because listen, he told you? 
Listen, Retard. I'm just saying, if your stated goal is to, like, win over as many people as possible and, like, get people to like you and not have people hate you or whatever, which I think is perfectly reasonable, and if I were in your position, that's what I would want, um, then, you know, I have some suggestions in, ter in terms of, like, how to at least demonstrate some, a little more self-awareness and maybe, like, create some space and, and not try and suck up as much space as possible, because it can have the opposite effect of the intended effect. Like, sure, showing your no, face I is... What is I think okay. you? Have you ever have you ever heard of a concept called vitamin me? Yes, so uh, I think that I think that you're right. So now, like I said earlier in the conversation, there's no, I, there's nothing to be said for me. I, I won't be going on Steven's stream because I have nothing to fucking say. The only reason yeah. I went on is because a, a black feminist came on, and I thought that I had an interesting viewpoint as someone who has been no, notably. You just told us that yesterday. <laughs> you just told us that yesterday. You you left a panel and joined Destiny's because you just wanted to see what he was up to, and that you were bored of the panel you were on. You want to have no, fun no, no. I looked. No, 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 no. I looked at. I looked at the panel. And then it's, I saw that Sneeko listen, was there, and I had just and I had just had a about. and I had I'm not lying. I had looked at you, the panel, you just told and then I saw the story twenty minutes ago. No, I didn't. It's I fine. told you that I was on, and then I looked at the panel and saw that Sneeko was on, and then I left. And no, I had I just had a and I had just shut the, the fuck panel. up. And yes, but that's, that's why I was looking at the panel. That's uh, why I was looking at what Steven was doing on stream. I was fucking bored. Hello. Bro. And then I went on. You're over rationalizing on. something that three doesn't need to be rationalized. Up, There's no need for three this. Three days ago, up, and then three days ago, I had had uh, an e date with Sneeko that went really, really well, and they were ganging up on him. So I was like, "I'll join." And Stephen you, had already wait, extended you know the invite. I thought it was the whenever. black feminist. What about did her? Did you know that they were ganging up? How did, were you watching the panel? Did you know that they were ganging up on him? Yes, I told you I had been bored during the previous panel, so I looked at what Stephen was fucking doing. Oh, and you were like, Hello, listening to the you? and then I joined, huh? Mm -hmm. And the reason, no, this is okay. So I've been on what three times in the past week. So that was last night. And then while I was on, then it became another conversation. They started talking about black issues because low tier God joined after I had joined. And as a black and then woman, I was like, you, you wanted to give her opinion, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, as a white savior. Yeah. And then no. And then low tier God was talking. And then I was like, Hmm, you know, it would be really interesting. Everyone in the chat the last time I was here was saying that they wanted low tier God on. Do you with actually Anna. believe what you're saying? <laughs> I can talk to you Anna. Actually I can believe it? Shut the fuck up. I can get okay, Anna to come ball. on. I can get Anna to come on. And then I did. And then Anna came on, but Anna was like, I don't want Aaron talking. So I was like, okay, I'll make sure if Aaron says anything to counter. And then I ended up being a moderator while Steven fucking left. And then I ended up doing like whatever the fuck I was doing. And we ended up having like a really fine conversation that was like perfectly normal. So that was just yesterday. And then two days before, yeah, it was just because Anna's like an interesting character. Um, and yeah, I think that I came on in the same way that like anyone would who felt like they had something to say and I just had the opportunity to because Steven has made me an orbiter. Like nothing is think, wrong wait, with that. Wait, I have a question. Do you think Steven would make you an orbiter if you weighed 200 pounds? Okay, uh, here we go. Who cares? Who gives here a fuck? Go. Do you think- Do you not- Okay. Uh, do you think, no, first of all, do you I think want, Steven I want, would going. like you at all? Jesus like Christ. if, you, no, hold if on. he wasn't attracted to you at all? You think that's true? Oh, God. Anyhow. Listen, serious listen. question. Do you not? Do you not? Do you not think that you have a bit of a white savior complex, though? You know, in terms of like, do you like, having, like having to protect Sneeko like Jane is pretty and, crazy, right? Okay, so, think, so are you, you trying? Are you trying to? Like are you? you trying to get me to admit that I'm attractive and that gives me a leg up? Um. Well, it's the only leg you have, right? No. Well, I think if you just said yes, I'm attractive and it gives me an advantage, he probably do you think? The fuck do you up, think? So. Do you think viewership? Do you think viewership goes up by thirty to forty percent on every uh, fucking panel I come on because I'm attractive, or do you think it's because I'm interesting? Um, I think it's you could have you could have you could have girls on here. You could have girls on here. You could have girls on here way fucking hotter than me. Well, listen, but listen, I'm here. listen. That's a that's a fair point. You come on, fine. You come on. You you start shit up. People do watch. I agree with that. So and what the fuck are you? What is this? Hey, I'll, I'll tell you. I'm I'll tell you. Let me answer. I will reason. tell you if you let me answer. Go ahead. I'm saying that Stephen would not have you on in the first place if he was not physically attracted to you. Who cares? Okay, let me tell you a story. We met in person, didn't fuck. Explain that. What? So what? <laughs> he keeps you around because he still wants to fuck you. Close relationship. You're in a close Wait. relationship? Wait, yes. so what if that's true? What does it matter? He's not going to fuck true. me. He's not going to fuck what, me. Fine. What if that even was true? Like, who cares? It's their business. Yeah, thank you. Who gives, who gives a fuck? Well, no, 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 but, so, yeah, no, wait, so, wait, why are you point, talking the about this with fucking Cherry or point Brandy being or is, you, you probably do talk about this with the other female no, orbiters, actually. Stop making bad arguments. Just defend yourself properly, left. Jesus Christ.
I, I've been defending myself and been doing a great job at it. You no, guys look you fucking retarded. Stop it. Stop you guys it. look actually fucking no, stupid. It's embarrassing. No. Well, okay. Yeah, most of you think you did a great job really going good. into defend Sneaker and Annalise. That's the thing. What? Do you think you're effective in helping defend Sneeko from his attacks and Annalise? Um, defending? Maybe not, but I think last night I showed that I could facilitate a good conversation. So, yeah. Okay. The issue is that you get a lot of the feedback is that, you know, that you're not a positive contribution to the actual. Yeah, a lot of the feedback you is, is, on, is your is points people who aren't suffer made from lab derangement syndrome. No, yeah, I, I do, yes, don't do that. Lab. There is lab derangement to a certain degree. But yes, so, you can't so now anything, so now anything I do. No, hold on. Hold sure, on, so now on. anything I do has a negative fucking spin on it. But do I believe that? Whose fault is and that? And anything that you see other people wait, 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 doing, wait, wait, wait. Some of it is my fault. Wait, wait. Some of it is my fault, of course. Yes. And part but of to it, the degree, to the degree, absolutely fucking not. Well, part of it. There is happens. nothing no, I've you, done. There is nothing I've done to justify like no, the hate that I, I think, get. I think that there is plenty. Like no. the contradictions are just so frequent. Like earlier, well, like what? Wait, okay. Do you I, I want to get to it, but I guess yeah, I want to get to it. Listen, everyone, listen, everyone, listen, everyone, listen, everyone listen, brings up the contradiction, and the only one is me going back to sex work in a completely different light. That's the only contradiction. But no, everyone brings up this like contradiction. plentiful contradiction. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Name three. Let's supreme. Name three. Let's supreme talk. Let's I, prom supreme talk I promise you, there's no more than maybe one. Maybe I'll get a chance to. I don't know. Go on, supreme. Jesus Christ. Okay. Earlier in this conversation, you've in this conversation, I think you've been a little inconsistent. Like you've you've started by saying the reason I join uh, these Destiny panels is because anyone with an eye for opportunity, when given the privileges to join whatever they want, would join as much as possible. And then you went to like, ridiculous. Well, I actually have very very specific reasons for why I joined each and every conversation. And I think if we, you know, if we if we compared it to the content, like uh, the thing about you inviting Anna on, how how long after you joined did Anna join last night? Probably. 20 minutes? Okay. 10 I minutes know. of those, me trying to get her on? I, you know, I'm not totally sure. And but also, and also, why are you, li listen, you want every, every, you realize that the world is like a very complex place, but when it comes to me, everything has to be like, like Supreme completely, every, no. No, no, I don't, no, I don't think I can. No. Okay. Okay. No. Life has to make this another panel <laughs> about her fucking projecting and vomiting all of her insecurities all over everyone you all the time. This and up, then she's going to fucking wonder why shit. she gets so much you criticism and say that she has only a little bit to do with the, the lab arrangement. You made this about me. I'm the only one that I think has approached you in good faith to try to give you some You are gaslighting the Fuck I'm out not of me because I'm the bringing fuck up out a you. fucking salient point. I'm so not, sit with this point. Salient. I sit just, with this I point. I just brought up a point. contradiction. Wicked. Supreme. Br uh, no, you didn't. I'm trying oh, to explain to you why you're a fucking well, no. retard. So you acknowledge <laughs> that everyone is. Ex you acknowledge that everyone why are is. You, why are you erupting at me? Because you're annoying the fuck out of me. Let, now, let me fucking finish. You're just imploding. So you have, no, I'm not. Okay, I'll talk like a nice girl. I'll talk like a nice. Will you? Will you understand me better if I talk like that? Do the baby voice you oh, do on Steve. Just say, just say, just say you. So you think you think that everything is supposed to be really cut and dry, and that's not fucking true. There can be more than one reason why I go into fucking Stephen panels. And when you're and when I'm coming into a fucking panel with like five people who are like, give the simplest answer on why you came onto Steven's panel. It's because he wants to fuck you. It's because all these things. True. Yeah, there's there's gonna be more than one reason why I went on a fucking panel because there's more than one reason why humans do fucking anything. And then you're like, you're so flip floppy. No, like there are just multiple fucking reasons. Like, and none of them are fucking malignant. Not even one of them. So you're trying to paint me as this villain, and then you're like, I'm not you're trying, trying to, to catch you me. You're trying to like catch me in what you think is I'm a not. lie, but it's just me giving another reason onto why I came onto Stephen's panel, which makes complete Sometimes fucking sense. Too and you I hate that it makes sense. You, see, you oh, hate that it makes sense. I, you hate that wait, it makes wait, sense. Wait, and so you call me flip flop. I, 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 so I can't. As well. I just, sorry, can't I believe you're bringing this energy to me. I'm the one that's fucking uh, whatever. Like. Oh, no, I, I point this out as well that you do give contradicting, you, you do give contradicting reasons. When I say, you know, you, you on the one hand are saying that you're doing something of a clout and trying to own that, but then you're saying I don't need the clout, I've got it on TikTok. That is a direct contradiction. Yeah, so, some things that you say are ir it's not, not for reconcilable. Clout. It's, They're it's, irreconcilable. It's fun. It's fun. But then you okay, say it's for clout. clout. What makes you, it fun? If you had one person on your Twitch channel, it wouldn't be fun, right? But you said that earlier. 
Let me just ask you a question. Hold on. Hold on. You guys Lav. are so fucking stupid. I tried to explain no, this stop, earlier. Stop, stop, Lav. Just mute her. Lav. Please mute her. Please. It, okay. it has to be done. Supreme. Like, okay. Holy fuck. You Dude, said, you you said yourself, me, Lav, Lav you said yourself, any opportunistic person or an eye, uh, an eye for opportunity with an eye for opportunity with these privileges would do this, would seize on this opportunity. No, what but is, I'm not talking what, about- What? No. Stop. Stop. What is the you object? Bitch! What? What is you the bitch! object? Lav, right. you Shut have up! to answer this. Let me finish and you can speak. Why? You don't- Wait, crazy. Lav, do you not want me to talk because Agreed. it looks bad for you? Because the correct, no, honest answer looks bad? No, I don't want you to talk because bad? you're fucking retarded! That's what I thought. That's what I thought. You're a dumbass! You're a dumbass. No, you don't seem to have the fortitude point. to be able to hear this Listen, out and answer it and respond to it. Wicked Supreme, shut the fuck up and let me What is the object of that opportunity? Why did you say an eye for opportunity? What is the object of that opportunity? Answer that question! Okay, please answer. I'm trying to answer. Like, Holy go shit. Ahead. So Continue. you think the opportunity is growth. You tell I'm me. The tell me what Holy the opportunity shit, is. Kill yourself in Roblox. Literally tell me shut what up. The opportunity is. Shut up. I'm trying to. Okay, the go. Opportunity is me. Explain. Let's go. Everyone chill out. Let's go. Come on. The opportunity is the thrill of going on a fun platform and having a conversation that is really like complex and beautiful potentially and messy. <laughs> And also, I'm in a space also where I don't have a lot of friends. There's a social aspect to this. So I'm getting to be social. And, no now also, and then also there's like the thrill of going on a big platform and like having this sure. really hard discussion. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. that is enough for me. That's opportunistic. And I have the opportunity being one of Steven's friends to do that whenever yes. I want to. I, it's not about growth for me. It's not about clout for me. It's just well, about I would say. Fun. I would say it's not that is not hold on. And you said this we this keep in mind this is the frame of the conversation being that I'm being flip floppy. I've not been flip floppy on that. I've said that I'm doing this for fun since the very fucking beginning. So if you mer mischaracterize me Stop, and then and then and then I give you a reason to not mischaracterize me, I'm not, that's not me being flip floppy. You. That's you changing your mind about me and then not no, wanting I'm not to change changing my mind, mind about, about you. Can I ask a question. I'm trying to help you understand where this is a contradiction. You've said that it's part of what. Not. Oh, well, I'm going to explain it to you. Let me do it. And then at the end, you can tell me if you agree or disagree or what things make it not valid or something like that, right? What makes the argument invalid? You've told me that. Okay, fine. You do. Stop. You do it for fun. You say you do it for fun. And part of what makes it fun is that you get to be on a big platform in front of a bunch of eyes. Is that the, the volume of the viewership is part of what makes it thrilling for you. How is that any different from saying that there's cloud involved? Because clout implies that I'm trying to like take something from someone and I'm not taking anything from anyone. Oh. I'm only adding to my life. Okay, are you streaming right now? Yes. Okay. But you I didn't identify? stream to get I didn't stream to get on to get on okay. this fucking okay. panel. Fine, I was fine. streaming and then That's I heard fine. that you guys That's are fine. fucking That's talking fine. about me. That's so fine. I joined. Is, is part of you going on these streams, is the effect of you going on these big streams, these big platforms with a lot of viewership, is that some of it's gonna carry over to your stream? I had the same amount of viewers. When you guys started talking about me, I had 400 Can and you, you had answer the question. No. Okay. Not fine. in this case. Okay. Then that's on the record that you don't want I, to answer that question. Can I ask a question? Do you I just wanna... answered it. I just I answered it. it. Wait a second. No, no, no. Wait a sec. Oh my God. Okay. I think that what she's describing is that her motivations aren't that she's trying to secure viewership. Whether or not the effect of it is that she secures some viewership is redundant. Even if she does, in fact, get some viewers, it doesn't matter because she's just describing what motivates her to go on that stream. And it's all of the reasons that she listed earlier. Um, also, maybe some attention, but that attention isn't necessarily in the form of like viewership, so, but just having a lot of eyes during yeah, the it's conversation. Exciting. It's, exciting on, to, it's exciting so to have it, eyes on But it. then here becomes the question, my... Lav, why aren't you going on lots There's of no streams to have really small stop. viewership? Oh my god, can I, can I just be allowed to, like, to just present the arguments based on what's been said? Because Fine. you said I am that it's going on streams with lots of low viewership. You said that what it are you talking about? Hold on. You said that it is that going on these panels is something that an opportunistic person would do, implying that you are being opportunistic for. Yes, going the op yes, the op no, the opportunity to do what I want to do, not the opportunity to do like to get clout, but the opportunity to have really interesting discussions like that's the opportunity. Can I ask a question? No. Um, no, motherfucker. So, never, yeah, no, never, no, never, never, shut never, up, never. Dingo. Listen, fucking Supreme's cross examining. Go on, Supreme. OK. The whole point of being opportunistic is that you get to secure an opportunity for yourself and an opportunity for yourself yes. is something that like allows you to do something later on with it that you can benefit which from. Which is go, which is, is not benefit. <laughs> okay. 
Mm-hmm. Well, you do, just not in the <laughs> well, way that I we were. You do. It's yeah, just crazy like, making. We're looping. We're looping. It, listen, even if it was not looping, it's totally terrible. monetary, even if it was for a clout or money or any of that, I wouldn't say that any of that is wrong. I would I would not be here Neither to argue would I that be. you're... Chad is doing that with me right now. He's fucking milking Stop and laughing. farming talking, me for views. You're talking to me right now, okay? Just relax. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not making this attack towards you. Like, you, you've been really defensive with me over things that I don't think are even necessarily bad. Like, no, but I, I, I don't think that there's anything Never mind. wrong You can talk either. to these people then, okay? Holy no, shit. Okay, Holy Jesus shit. Can I, can you can, you can talk to them and they can attack you and you can just yell at them. Well, listen, listen. So, Lav, you, you come here to have interesting conversations, right? That's your thing? Shut up. Two people are speaking at once. Okay. I'm being gassed. Two things that I was going to ask. One, I want to see Supreme's pretty face because I haven't seen it in a long time. Okay, and so this retard cut me off for that. Wow, okay. Yeah, no, shut the fuck up. Okay. The second thing, if we're talking about opportunism, it's possible, if you're willing to extend some degree of good faith, that the way that she's interpreting the term opportunism is not the same way that we would typically use it. So it may be the case that she's just talking about an opportunity that's being afforded to her uh, and not necessarily one that's granting her some degree of benefit down the line. Now, I actually had a question because I thought that it was some oh, three things. Somewhat okay. interesting. Jesus Christ! Shut up! You're a retard. Holy shit! Okay, now there was something Talk that like she said that was interesting so that she gets criticized for a lot that she doesn't necessarily get a good opportunity to represent herself well for. So I was going to ask her really quickly, actually, uh, when you said that some part of the uh, the lab derangement syndrome is actually your fault. Do you remember saying that a few minutes ago? Hold on. The the dictionary definition of opportunistic is exploiting chances offered Bro. by immediate circumstances without reference to a general plan or moral principle. Who cares? Okay. I was right. You I used earlier. opportunistic correctly. Thank you. I, Continue. Uh, I'm just saying you guys are using it differently, regardless of who's using it correctly. You guys are having a miscommunication because of the use of the word. Not necessarily. Sure, and I was right. So I didn't misspeak and I wasn't flip floppy. I don't. Thank you. I, I genuinely don't care. Fine. You were right. I, do. I really don't. Care. Okay. Well, fine. I can't say that. So, so you it, said earlier that part of the lab derangement syndrome was actually your fault, part of it, whatever to whatever extent that was. Do you mind yes. if I ask what it is exactly that you did to contribute to that lab derangement syndrome? Yes. Um, I came in uh, super hot. I, I'm, I come into these panels because I don't have like a lot of um, emotion or I don't have a lot of stock in how I'm optically received because I'm not making money this way. I'm able to do whatever the fuck I want. So I can be like as bombastic as possible because I don't have to worry about my bag being taken away. So I come on to these. I do whatever the fuck I want. I make jokes out of things that maybe I shouldn't joke about. I'm smug when I shouldn't be smug probably. You know, I like, uh, I do all these things so I can understand why I have an unlikable personality. But it's the fact that um, I have an unlikable personality and it's been blown up to this proportion that is insane. Because I think that, uh, I don't think that Steve has an especially likable personality. I don't think that Cherry does. I don't think that Max does. I don't think that <laughs> most of the people he has on do because he likes difficult people. Uh, but yet I'm the person who's difficult and has like the most hate. And I think wait, there's a bunch no, of no, 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 Max, reasons. wait, wait, wait. Max gets a lot of fucking hate from Destiny's community. Like, I think sure. Max does plenty of things that are unlikable. Sure. Cool. I also think we're also having a talk on how that's about misogyny and it's and it's about misogyny towards him as well. Um, so uh, okay, real? okay, but the thing okay, is, there's so women you can point. But wait, wait, there's women you can point to that have got like a positive, largely positive reception. Um, that I think like not so erudite. This. Sure, not so erudite. Yeah, yeah. yeah and even, we talked. About, we, all, we also talked about that. We also talked about that. And Stephen also talked about how you're there is only a, a place this big in which women can exist on the internet within these confines, and if they do exist in this very tiny aspect, then they are given you know a mediocre awards. Like, yeah, you're allowed to sit with us. You're allowed to engage with us. And Stephen doesn't like that because that is inherently misogynistic. So having a difficult woman on and men having to deal with it. It's not going to be the worst thing. I'll take the collateral. I don't care. I don't give a fuck if you don't like me. But you do care, though. Yeah, you do. You're, you're no, like, I impl- don't. you're erupting on this. Yeah, you're fighting people that are not even attacking you. Because, you're, no, because like, you're it's imploding. fun. Because it's fun. I'm having fun. Okay, a, listen, I'm going to jot this down. I'm going to jot this down. And if you complain again about how it like hurts your mental health or these people are all just insane and misogynistic, course, wait, then it's actually all, just because it's fun for true. you. Both things can be true. Both things can be true. I can be really enjoying this conversation and then also not like having the consequences of this conversation. That's like very human, right? Oh, wait, so, no. Like, I can, you, I can, you did say you no, didn't no, no, care no. about the consequences no, no, no. of the conversation because you don't have no, any I said, to it. 
No, I no. Listen, I don't care in the way to where it's going to make me act any differently. Of course, reading it is going to make me feel bad, but I'm not going to act any fucking differently because of it. Okay. No, you just said that you're going to act up in ways that you think are bad oh because God. it's because it's fun for you. You can't simultaneously do that and then Holy like have shit. these indicting criticisms about how the community. You is guys just are holding. And, you guys are holding me to this standard. To the things and that you say. Me. No, 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 no. You have a magnifying glass on me that is. It's fucking not just insane. you. It's not exclusive it is to insane. you. No, it is exclusive to me it's, right no. now because we're talking about me. I'll just right let you now. say that then. Okay. Um. Wait, Lav, are you diagnosed with autism? Yes. <sighs> okay. That. Mm, fuck. Okay. I'm not like a psych person at all or anything like that. That kind of explains some of this, though, Supreme. If you think about the way that she engages with things that you're saying, it seems as though she responds like very specifically to the words that you're saying without any consideration for the broader um, picture of how the things that she's saying are going to be interpreted as a, a function of all the other things that she's said in the past. Now, the way that she describes this is holding multiple thoughts simultaneously, which is perfectly reasonable. Uh, people yes. have multiple motivations for things. People have multiple thoughts that they take into consideration while simultaneously engaging in some action. Fair enough. But it's when the things way that become ex somewhat things mutually well, exclusive or irreconcilable. That it becomes a contradiction. Exactly. Well, they, they're, they can be, and I would be interested to know exactly what example you're using where something is necessarily mutually exclusive or unreconcilable. But it seems as though she just has like multiple motivations that come that come across as though they're contradictory. But upon elaboration, not necessarily. It just seems like she's kind of like an attention whore who's kind, who's maybe a little bit lonely. Which, by the way, not the worst. Which is not like an attack. I think it's fine. I'm an attention Welcome whore. Why do you think I'm here? But, I don't. I've been called, so I don't. It's just, <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't know. Um, I'm kind of sympathetic towards her, just not because I necessarily like, I, I hate the way that she argues. Listen, I hate the way <laughs> she argues, okay? I wish That's she was valid. a better debater. But, okay, just, I, just to be clear, valid. just to be clear, from my understanding, I did catch this part of a conversation you had. You have not been diagnosed with autism. You saw on paperwork something that made you think. That a no, 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 autism, no, right? no, 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 no. I was diagnosed with autism when I was seven, and I was again reaffirmed diagnosis last year. I have been diagnosed twice well, with hold autism. Hold on, hold on. A doctor did not come to you and say you are. I diagnosed went to with a autism. doctor. I went to a doctor last year to get re-diagnosed because they said that I would grow out of it because I have Asperger's or because okay. it was Asperger's. They think that they used to think that women or girls would grow out of Asperger's because of the the way that they mask. So my doctor, when I was seven, was just like, she'll grow out of these, I, whatever, just monitor it. And I was able to live fine with minimal help because I'm obviously high functioning. So then when I was having issues as an adult in the form of like what I thought was a panic disorder or but what is a panic disorder, I went back to the psychiatrist and I was formally re-diagnosed with ASD and not Asperger's because that's a dead diagnosis. Okay, fair well, enough. The, the only thing is like, I mean, I feel like when it comes to some social intelligence, we've seen you flirt aggressively. We've seen you have like sort of scathing and like sort of quick retorts and stuff that seem perceptive and insightful and stuff. I, I'm a people can do all these things. Autistic people can do all of these things, and especially That's autistic women fine. can do these things because it presents completely differently in women than it does. That's fine. Whoever. I'm a little, I'm and a I'm little not, wary about using autism as a shield from like criticism. For I, doing never like, I, I never have. I never have. I just did it on did now. I just did it. Maybe maybe we can get it as an explanation. He did it as an explanation. He did it as an explanation. It's not. It's never an excuse. I don't think that I should be held to whatever I'm here having this conversation with you. And I never brought it up. I feel like never brought it up to skirt any sort of accountability. I said I'm smug. I'm smug. I'm whatever. I know you did just now, but I feel like you've brought it up in conversations where people have brought up a contradiction where you just go, "Well, I'm autistic" or something. But either either way, on Twitter. I said, keep in mind, I said on Twitter, keep in mind, I'm, I'm literally autistic, which is like, people were like, she's not socially aware. And I'm like, wait, Lev, one second. Did you, you come on here and you say that you have very interesting conversations, right? That's the whole point. You have, it's fun for you to have interesting conversations. Have stimulating correct? conversations. Yeah. So why is every conversation is a meta conversation about how annoying you are? How is that interesting? Well, not every conversation. Not every conversation. No, every single, literally every single one. They it devolves no. often to that, but not every conversation. So, and do you find that interesting, Lav? Like having a I think conversation once, about that's like you, a that feels like a necessary your, evil. That feels shut the fuck medical up. Medical secrets that, and all your medical information, your personal life. 
P- yeah, I, uh, this is, is like a you? this is a necessary evil of having like a normal conversation because literally like yesterday the same fucking thing happened on the panel where I joined. Someone else brought it up and then I had to answer for my crimes and then we could move on with the discussion and get in like a really good place. So yeah, I'll deal with the 10 minutes where someone's fucking hating on me for the no 10 reason. Minutes, bro. To yeah. have yes, to have like a fun and like stimulating conversation. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Well, I think the, the pattern is uh Wait, one this second. I'll, I'll be done this one time. I'm going to end my life. No, I, the I, contradiction I, in in saying you 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 have autism and that you're an empath, you know, and, and that, no, because that I'm is sorry, those what? are two those those are two things that people generally do not associate. And I and, and or maybe maybe you can help us by saying how First does of your all, autism I've never present? said that I was. I've never said I was an empath. Unironically, uh, ever in my fucking life, with, Steven with says that because I bring up empathy. I bring up empathy in arguments. So when I'm like, you have to see it where he comes from. Steven's like, mm, empath, empath, empath. I have never self-described as an empath, and autistic people can absolutely feel empathy. That is not a fucking. Of course they can, but it, but okay. So maybe I'm mistaken then, and you didn't call yourself an empath. It was just a meme that other people were placing on top of you. Wait, why? Wait, why is everyone obsessed with like picking out every single hypocrisy she does? Because clearly she does them, but no one can ever nail her, nail her on it. Not even Destiny can do it. So why do we loop through this over and over and over again? What is well, the point dude, of this? You, got, you I, guys I like keep fucking up. talking about me. Oh, Let I feel me like die we... then. True. No, you. No, I'm sorry, but like, it's true. It's true. Some people do, I think, come for you, and then the conversation starts this way. But I do think that sometimes you. You sort of like project defenses that that aren't super valid or or like against certain criticisms that, that I think might be valid. And at the end of the day, I just like want to help you identify some things that uh, that you that you do that I think garner some of the criticism and that would like help you. If you want to be interpreted better, it's sustained superior performance. If there's a thing that you do that like pisses everybody off and part of that causes them to maybe interpret your words uncharitably or like give you undue criticism or something, which probably does happen. I think one of those things is like adding a little too much vitamin me to a lot of these panels and like joining too frequently or something like that. You sure. know, Thank like you. that's that's one thing. But if the, the truth, there is some truth. Uh, one thing I will say is that, um, you know, there is a level of content that Lav brings that keep people clearly desire because well, there's two types of people, either people like the villain or they're degenerate coomers, um, you know, so you're kind of capturing both of those audiences. <laughs> Heel and hero and one. Exactly. Stop yeah. hurting the coomers. The anti-hero. No, the anti like you, you, talk about, you talk about how I'm clout chasing or like whatever, but clearly you can see that people just follow me where I fucking go. So I don't have to fucking do much. I can literally just hop online, want to play Overwatch and listen to Frank Sinatra, have you guys talk about me, jump on this what? panel, and then you <laughs> fucking- Wait, wait, whoa, 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 fucking... hang on. We barely it's spoke cringe. about you. We spoke about you and I quickly moved the conversation along because you're like fucking, you know, right, you're like a, right. you're like a like fucking Voldemort. vampire or something. You know, yeah, I've summoned you by talking about you. Yeah, um, it, it is one of the side effects <laughs> that you're going to have to accept by showing up on all these panels. Even if it's, listen, for I don't, regard... It's fun. I don't care. I like this. I like, well, I mean, I don't like Queeman because I think he's a retard, like, but yeah, I, so I don't mind she, doing this. She oh, thrives in this. This meta conversation about her and all this shit is what she likes this is what she funny. wants to that. happen over and over again right Holy so us coming bro. on here to be like lad you're inconsistent here what about this yes this is fun. she doesn't give a shit she likes this yes this is fun this is so stimulating. here's here's the challenge i issue all streamers it's called the no lab challenge do not talk about Fucking her cope. Do not i'm not listen that to her. why do you hate she's on her so panel much. you can bring her on the panel but here's what you do you, you hate, just mute her and you so put a big mad. you put a big so screen mad. over her so and have her on the live panel okay? yeah this it's is the all of you will never die all you all i'm like a fucking internet oh, cockroach yeah. baby i'm not fucking going anywhere dude i was actually okay so this is exactly what i was talking about earlier lab when somebody is digging a hole for themselves and saying dumb shit just, just let them say it there's no reason to talk over him and like hide let him say it he's saying dumb shit I, I know you don't care. I'm saying let him say it because he makes himself look dumb. Why are you interrupting him? You're so, helping. Okay, whatever. Uh, we'll just put it simply. Your re the, your reaction to that and the way that you react to it is is part of the reason that Unsavory. people... Unsavory. Well, it's yeah, it's part of the reason people don't like to hear you and that they may Great. criticize you unduly or something like that. So like you're just going to have to... I'm not you're gonna, curious you're gonna as to... to why people are criticizing me. Okay. I know the reasons. Well, I've laid them out to you. I clearly yeah, know why. I just don't So why do you keep banging your head against the wall? Like she's they made it clear. Just, she oh yeah, care. you're doing a better job. She doesn't care there. about. No, I don't. I'm not trying. That's to give her what advice. I thought. Then shut the I'm fuck up. I'm not trying up. to give her advice. Sit down, Supreme. asshole. Supreme, you look like you have AIDS. 
Listen to me. Well, so it's not care about your I opinion. do have AIDS because I <laughs> fucked your dad. Right. Oh my god. Listen, what is going she does on? not care yeah. about your advice. She made it clear. Okay, also, she doesn't, doesn't, about your, doesn't, doesn't she know. literally let's get more viewers than you? So why the fuck is she listening to you? I don't even fucking stream anymore. What the hell? Okay, so she does. It's so the her, versus... your advice on her is okay, lost. Okay, listen. So why do you insist You tried on attacking it? Lav, it failed, and now you're coming for me. Okay, just go away. Just fucking I don't know why you're even going for okay. Supreme. It doesn't make any sense. Can you were just giving advice to all the other streamers, and now you're complaining about Supreme giving advice to Lav. Like, if you're talking about... No, no, no. It's not... It's not... Okay. My dude, you're the... Okay, here's the reason. Because my advice is good, and his is retarded. No, your advice is not good. You're telling other streamers, hey, here's this person that brings you viewers. Don't platform them anymore. I got good advice. No, you're a fucking retard. Shut up. Well, no, no, no. Supreme, Supreme, works, Supreme, 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 and all these ideas are coming to you. We've heard like three different ones about, you know, the first thing you're going to do. When are we going to get the first one? That first one so, sounded great. Oh, Red Penny confirmed there's a Kuma. Okay, sorry, go on. So, uh, so I made, so I made a <laughs> I whole, I made a whole video on my iPhone. Everyone. Wait, if I if Why I said do say not that? Google and I and I put something that Lav would not want Googled out, would that be what's a Google Google? Well, I'm sorry. Like, what moral high ground do you have when you're talking about like exploiting <laughs> my fucking leaks? You're a piece exploiting of shit. Your what? Die. Exploiting your anyway, what? Anyway, so I I put I made a whole Wait, I made a whole exploiting video. Exploiting your what? I didn't hear what you said. Can you repeat it? I made a whole video on my no. iPhone, and Sorry, then I realized that, it, and then I realized. Here. Listen forever, okay? I've got to be honest. Your <laughs> appearance here has been forever. very <laughs> underwhelming. Okay, <laughs> all you've done is come on and fucking be a dickhead, right? I know, <laughs> like, that's what's, what's going on, bro. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, uh, but your your reputation, listen, mate, your reputation is in the toilet right now. No, lab. Nobody likes forever. Okay, don't. That's not the. That's not the thing. That's not the only thing it is. Back to my content. Give me all of your money. Let me. So I I created a whole uh, sex toy review talking about like um Bruh. you know women's sex toys with my iPhone. Garbage quality. I was editing it and I felt like shit. I was like, oh, this is so bad. And then I was like, okay, I need to get a vlog camera. I got the vlog camera this weekend. My SD card didn't work. It was fucking shot. So I have to film tomorrow. My whole thing. But it will be out soon, and it's gonna be the Yoni Steam video, and it's gonna be like uh, it's gonna be like a whole thing. It's gonna be a whole thing. Can I, what uh, what would your content be when I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be honest. Right, forever. Listen, I'm gonna okay, mate. I'm gonna have to swap you out, mate. Okay, <laughs> okay this is okay, insanity. Okay. <laughs> listen, right, you need to say you, your final you piece. <laughs> you need to okay, say your yes, final I'm, piece okay. and leave. Well, I'm, I'm, sincere, sincere question: What no, would your content I'm gonna, be when I'm, you're 55 years old? So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest. Uh, the the shit that I'm posting on Patreon not going to be like easy fap material like it's not going to be sexy it's not going to be performative it's going to be like a woman's feminist perspective on sex like it's That's not going to be easy to jack off to if you want to if you'd rather jack off to that than porn go ahead it's more ethical for sure but it's not it's not going to give that same gusto that my only shit my only fan shit used to do um and then when i'm 55 i will be rich married and like an empty nester so I'm not worried about it. Okay. Okay. I believe that. Forever. Uh, Supreme, uh, you're gay. <laughs> I think that sort of. <laughs> you got me. I think that. I think that confirms that you're not necessary for clout because if you're looking for that sort of audience, you're not going to find it on fucking Destiny's channel or. Exactly. Here. Exactly. So how how are you going to find that audience then? That's. The I don't. I don't need to have a, the audience I've already cultivated is on TikTok. I have a bunch of feminist women who are extremely curious about their bodies. Um, people, women like me, I idolized women like Zoe Ligon, who did the same thing. She was a sex journalist. And uh, I idolized her. And so there obviously is a market. So I'll find my niche. But I'm not worried about taking over the world by any fucking means. I don't need to grow my community. I already have it. Um, I, like, I feel like you should... You should recognize that you can stand to grow more by being on bigger and bigger platforms, and that's fine. There's nothing of wrong course, with that. Of course, but that's not... I, I obviously acknowledge that that's true. That's just not what I'm in it for. I mean... I just don't that care. Is 0 it means nothing to me. No! Why, what, what business do I have get, gaining a platform with a bunch of fucking... And I've said this before, and I don't think that everyone who views Destiny is an incel... It is overrun with like misogynistic fucking douchebags it's who overrun? I don't want. Who I don't want seeing me naked. Come I don't. On. It's not overrun with. Yes, it is. The moderators douchebags. are fucking incels. The people who 
Run it, suck. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. Who's yeah. who's an incel? Which moderator is an incel? All of them. <laughs> no, okay. Well, uh... I mean, okay, those are probably listen. the majority of your audience as well. I hate to break it to you. I don't know what you think you're cultivating. Like, Incels? let's be clear about what wait, I just told them. you, women. I, have I understand. So, what I have so many women in my to. audience. I'm not talking about what you're trying to appeal to. Finders I'm saying that I would imagine. Finders full of women. I don't think so. I think this is. I think you no. I can show you. I can show you my like, audience. I can show you my audience, and it is like split almost fucking fifty fifty in favor of men by one percent. It's We're like talking 51. about TikTok, then, right? Not Twitch, right? I, yes, I'm not I trying to. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not on women. Twitch. I'm not on Twitch to fucking peddle my Patreon. I don't I fucking talk about it unless someone else brings it up. Do you think your Patreon audience has cut fifty fifty between men and women? I don't. I don't know or care because it's for women. Oh, I understand what it's oh, for. I'm not on. talking about what it's for. But when you say this group is, I a already bunch of told you. If you're a man, if you're a man, do not get my fucking Patreon. You won't like it. You it won't like matter. it. Don't get well, it. I, I, it's okay. not what I'm talking about. I'm trying to get you to engage with what I'm saying. So but when what you you're say, saying is retarded. It's well, no, it's not, not retarded. It's He's pointing out something reasonable that, that, you know, it's highly unlikely that your Patreon is going to be majority women, like as much as you might want that to be. It's then then, be men men can, like then men can learn about steaming their vaginas. And jerk off. Yeah, and they might. And they might. And if they do jerk like, off, that is fine. Yeah. I, yes, exactly. I, 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 I invite you to. Mm. They're all incels when they're likely... Likely, that group of people is the same demographic that's going to be consuming your content. The overwhelming majority of that demographic that's consuming your content is going to be made up of those sorts of people. That's all I'm saying. It's not retarded. Not it is true. an accurate representation. How do you know? You just said you don't know that. Because I have a, I have a bigger platform on places like TikTok with a higher return. This is not even on TikTok. You said it's fifty-one percent men, and that's TikTok. That's not where no, you're. No, but actually... my no, no. But my videos that go viral. I had a free bleeding video that I did like a year ago, and it got like five million views, and that was like the most, like m most of who is like commenting on my videos, interacting with my videos, and sharing my videos is women. I just happen to also be to an attractive woman who men like to look out. at. But because most of my okay. most of my active audience is female. I don't know I don't what to tell you. They are. If you go onto my TikTok, you if you go onto my TikTok and see my my most viral videos or the videos that I have pinned or my most recent videos, it is only women. It is like, only TikTok is women. mainly for women, isn't it? It's You're mainly women on there, isn't it? Well, yes, no, no, and that no, is wait. my main platform. My main platform no, is TikTok. I, I do Twitch you. for fun. Lab, I believe you, but here's the thing, okay? If 51% of your audience is men and the overwhelming majority of people who are talking to you, communicating with you, typing, all that shit are women, what do you think the men are doing? I don't, I don't know. think this they're is, even watching is... the videos. I think they've just like followed me. Like, I oh, think that they've okay. just followed okay, me because um, they saw that okay. I looked hot in a video and want to keep seeing me. I just don't understand the point of this anyway. She's already said like, if, if dudes are watching or whatever the fuck. Yeah, no, sure. She... Go ahead. She did, and she said that she's she doesn't want these people. She doesn't care about these people. And well, I'm she telling said her both. Is... <laughs> she <laughs> said if they want to watch it and masturbate, then that's then good for them or whatever. She also said that. But well, I'm saying you can't disregard them because they make up the overwhelming yeah. majority of your audience. And she's fighting me on that, and I'm not sure why. Whatever. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. The either. overwhelming majority? No, they fucking don't. For you. No, they not don't. Of your TikTok. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't, Not it doesn't fucking matter anything this is a thing that you should own the lab like it doesn't matter oh like the whole point is you've stated your intention is to make no it doesn't matter but it's also not fucking true Stop. don't make me yeah. you are getting so angry with supreme when he's being very chill with you because, supreme is the chillest because, person okay, here okay because because he tries to make i'm literally me giving you the cheat codes to like true. avoid the criticism no, too because i don't care about <laughs> optics i don't care about optics i care about being true to but myself. you can't have it both ways you can't say i don't care about the optics and i engage this way because it's fun and then also stand on your soapbox and say all these people are misogynist with lav derangement system or they are. you can't have it both ways they no. are yes i can't have no, it both ways because both things can be fucking true holy shit holy See, and this, that this is the problem you do, you do have you, do have, you say something that's directly contradictory true, and then you say both can be true but if it's contradictory it, it can't be true yes it can be yeah, life is completely fucking contradictory things exist mm. constantly around us in all fucking angles don't be retarded. Come on. You sound like you're in a tunnel. 
I really dislike them as having derangement syndrome. I, I think that people. I, I, I think that calling people who dislike you ha having derangement syndrome is cringe in I general. I think that. as an indicator, I didn't do say that. At least. I didn't say that. I don't think it's that everyone who dislikes me. I don't think that everyone who dislikes me has derangement syndrome. But there is a derangement syndrome that exists around me. That is absolutely true, and you cannot dispute that. I think that there are complete fair criticisms to have about me, but the amount of vitriol, the amount of anger, is fucking insane. I spoke for maybe like two panels ago, like five minutes out of a th three-hour conversation, and all of the Destiny subreddit posts were about me. It was fucking insane. It was, in it was incredible. Like, there is a derangement syndrome. Of course, I can do things that are annoying, like anyone can. Look at it's the way the you behaved in this conversation. I <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Listen, look, like people, it, was, I think it was spicy, provocative, people were being, you know, forever was... Them with part of them, he won't even be able to respond to what they're saying. That's the thing that everyone was. being provocative here. Okay? I got a bit everyone fucking was. Mimi me and Spice with you. But look, look, seriously, Supreme is being chill, and, and you're having a very negative reaction to what he's saying. But because, I okay, get... I'm having, be, I'm having sure. a negative reaction, okay. Supreme, because I feel like you're trying to tell me what you want me to do because of what you no, think... No, listen, you can do it or not do it. Okay, but you're you're acting like I don't know that these things are true. You're acting like um. Uh, well, you don't. You at the very least don't seem to agree that they're true because you've argued with me a, su a substantial amount. Yeah, like you you said like these things where you're like uh, you don't have to uh, beat forever into his hole that he's dug for himself. That was because that was not me, that because was optically me. because optically it looks bad. Well, something like that, right? You guys are like optically this looks bad. I don't mm -hmm. care. I'd rather be genuine and have okay. genuine reactions. Than to care okay. about what but other if, people think about me. I'm not doing like... this for money. I'm doing this for fun. Okay. But do you want to get better yeah. at debating? Because this is what this, this is. A, this is a. I've first of all, this has been like a five-on-one debate, and I fucking wrecked like three people here. No, so I'm pretty damn fucking good at debating. And maybe Queeman. Also, I'm leaving. So I'll see you guys. Love you both. Bye. Catch you later. Bye bye. I'm also I'm also gonna leave because I think I've given you enough content, um, and I have see heartburn. Ya. But bye. Sorry for being mean, uh, Supreme. I, I appreciate you extending charitability to me. I'm sorry that I uh, my tone got so angry. I'm emotional. Um, and then okay. Chud, you're a piece of shit. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I'm a piece of shit. White guys. Well, yeah, I guess yeah. that's it. I think um, that went well. I think it went really well. Yeah. I think she, I, she I learned some good lessons like and. <laughs> who's this person? Who's this other person? Wait, wait, wait. Who's this person in the green room? I don't know, uh, just some guy, he said he saw a Discord that had people in it and he was excited. Oh. There's not any... Well, what the... okay, you've come into the Discord here, <laughs> random person, what's going on? Talk to me. I don't know. I, I, I just thought there were people here, so I thought, you know, every other server is dead. So I don't know. Well, I'm streaming, <laughs> I'm live right now. I'm sorry, did I interrupt that? No, not at all, I brought you in, I just no, wanted to no, know what you're still going. Oh. I, I mean, I, I just saw, like, I did click on the stream. I heard for two seconds, like, uh, the word misogyny, and I was like, that's really interesting, I guess. But um, What do you think of misogyny? Sure well, okay, wait, wait. What do you think of women? Hey, you know what? I'm going to do you one better. You know what's really funny? I spoke to Andrew Tate today, and... Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, um, and he's an extractive LARPer. Let me just start there. <laughs> Absolute extractive LARPer. I, you know, I just wanted to ask him, like, why do you hang out with idiots, right? Um, but he, he did this whole like LARP around, you know, what I could provide him, you know, why, why would I be messaging him? And I just, I thought it was very weird and, um, uncharitable. Um, so yeah, there you go. There's, um, I, I guess like, you know, for a guy who, who wants to be the underdog and, and, you know, the preyed upon, he, he comes off as a, a dickhead probably deserves to be flogged through the streets. <laughs> Why did okay. you message him, though? Chad, you interested oh, in okay. Destiny's... Yeah. That, that, Chad, are you interested in Destiny's final word on the content you just produced? Because it's, sure. it's in DGG right now. It's going yeah, to yeah. DMs. That's uh, <laughs> Imam Bonnell. Final holy word from the Lavalin debate. Here we go. Right. How can you call me out for a contradiction when everything life is a contradiction? Also, you are retarded. <laughs> wow. That's good. I like True. that. True. Very true. You know, Life is a contradiction, had... so have no, have no principles, have no consistency. Do whatever the fuck you want, even if it is contradictory. No problem. No problem detected. 
Okay. Yeah, it's too bad. Uh, I came in on the tail end of this, but I wanted to say one thing. I just think it's great that you're having it's such on. like a diverse and inclusive panel of like the, such the of all the neurodivergent that you have. It's really supportive and empowering to the autists. Um, I think whoever said it earlier, it's not her fault that she's got abysmal social awareness and skills. It's her autism. That was that was pretty based. Uh, I, I really think that there's nothing you can do to actually indict her because nothing nothing is her fault. You know, it's a result of being autistic and mentally ill. She only has agency over her sex work, and it's not agency over anything else because everything else is a symptom or a result from like uh, autism or the mentally ill. Um, and I, th I think the main thing to kind of drive home is that you really will never get through to her uh, that her timing is shit, or that not every quote unquote interesting conversation needs her participation or input. Or that less is more. You know, like if you were if was contributing less, you're more in demand instead of being in excess supply, which is what people complain about and see. Mm. Yeah, I, I tried to get into that a little bit with the vitamin E stuff. She she said that she knew what it was. Maybe she does, but I you know hope to expound on that a little bit. But she's okay, just doing well, what she enjoys. Listen, I don't want to turn this into a fucking post lab thing. Okay, yeah, is there true. anything anything anyone wants to add, or because I'm just gonna probably go? Is there anything else? Uh, yeah, all the attacks that you guys made were dog shit and stupid. Okay, you should be ashamed of yourself. Thanks, Frank. All right, see you guys. I gotta go. Bye. All right, okay. Catch you later, everyone. <laughs> bye, bye. All right, bye. see you. Dude.